Hey guys, Zuldrin here. Welcome back to another episode of Pixar. Hope y'all are doing wonderful today. You all right today, Squishy? Good, good, good. Listen, we got some interior work to do today. I started digging out the back of this and we found a little bit of coal, actually. Yeah, I mean, will you be able to use it to burn it? There's not that much that we could use it for right now. Outside of being able to fuel our little furnace, uh, we do want to get some walls in here. And I, I wanted to get with you guys before I actually did that. I'm thinking that because we've gotten so much stone from mining, I mean, tons and tons of it. I've I got a, an inventory full of it right now. And I have a chest that has quite a bit in it already so yeah it's 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 a ton so why would we use wood when we can just use this stuff and use wood for accents so I did start the floors and I'm probably gonna do one more set of floors on the right right there where I'm gonna come in because this is actually going to be all stone wall so there is some marble that we can get into but right now I think it's better that we just go with stone so if we take a look at our ingrams and we go to stone there's quite a bit that we can learn we're just gonna learn all of these ingrams and there's some polished stone stuff that we used to use as well but I'm not really sure how that looks uh, if we look at if we just look at let's see architecture master there's a whole bunch of different types of wood and things that we can learn and as you can tell some of this stuff is not regularly learnable you need to get a blueprint for it and you can find those in dungeons wow. yeah squishy it's very very dangerous in some of those dungeons but you could find some really really neat stuff and a lot of that higher end architectural stuff is going to be available in there so right now we're kind of exposed to stone and wood that's kind of what we have and as well as glass we could do some windows and stuff so that's gonna be pretty cool and we just learned a copper sword and copper armor that is really really good actually what is uh 16 points okay so i had just skipped leather altogether that's all right too we got plenty of copper stuff that we can learn now so with that being said let's take out do we have any copper left in here no i think all of it is in our inventory or at least it was in our inventory we need to grab it out of these chests and we need to make all of that stuff. We got 57 of it. And we can probably get some more if we really need to. Uh, let's dump a little bit of that. We're going to have to, once we get the walls up, we're going to have to figure out um, how to put some chests in the walls. That way we can kind of access stuff and as we go, you know. So let's, let's do the sword first to make sure that we have enough for that because that's going to be pretty important as well as the armor let's go with copper and we're going to be short wood for these things right here so we'll build these out and do we have any wood left in the uh the fireplace that's what i need to know we do have some in there uh yeah that would probably be enough to tell you the truth i'm so heavy right now okay armor copper breastplate and uh, was it the leggings that we needed to there we go so now we got full copper and i did want to put something together called the hat with a candle i think it's called let me see if i learned it yet i'm pretty sure i did candle uh yeah candle helmet that's it so we need a little bit of chitin with that which is going to require a mortar and pestle and i don't know if we've actually done that yet Mortar and pestle. Uh, right here. Perfect. Okay. So now we have the mortar and pestle. We can actually make that chitin out of the chitin that we get. It's it's weird. In Pixar, it's a, a, it's a resource that we can get. So let's make one of those. We should have enough because all it is is stone, I think. Yeah, just rock. And we'll make that up. We'll set it down right here. And with the chitin that we've been collecting here and there... We could kind of turn that into this stuff, the blueprint chitin, all right? Uh, we do have some chitin on us. We have 53. So let's do, let's turn, let's get 100 of those. And we're also going to craft up, since we have so much flint, we're also going to craft up a bunch, a bunch of the spark powder. Because we're probably going to need that for a bunch of stuff. Okay, now that we have the chitin, we can, well, actually, let's... <laughs> It crafts so fast, right? 
So we've got the chitin. Now we can put together the uh, what was it that we needed here? The candle helmet. I don't know if it's in this bench actually. I think it's in just my regular inventory. Candle with helmet. Okay, cloth hat is the only thing that we're gonna need besides that. Can we make the cloth hat? Cloth hat. I think that we had one somewhere around, but it's not important. It's only a cloth hat, right? That's pretty easy to make. Candle helmet. Perfect. So now when we're mining, we could pop this on top of our head and it's going to glow quite a bit. See, right right now it's a little bit dark. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on and show you guys how bright it really gets. Um, there we go. Look at that. You see? You can see where you're going and it's got this, like, this little glow to it. Now, we could turn this off. R dot bloom is zero. I think that's how you do it. R dot bloom quality maybe zero there we go and that makes it a little bit more manageable to look at right <laughs> yeah well you don't have to look it directly in the eye it's when we face in the camera anyway let's take our chests well we're gonna need a little bit of wood but i'm gonna put away some of this stuff right now i need to put up at least some stone here we're gonna take this pix block out and we are going to set it down. There we go. And that'll take a little bit of load off of us as well. And we're going to put the saddle on it, which also takes a load off of us. Now, now that we have the saddle off and stuff, we can move around a little bit. I'm actually going to add another point in weight since we've gotten a little bit. Now we got 400. I think it's raining out. We need to get a little bit of wood. Make sure... There's nothing really bad that's going to attack us out here. <laughs> I think we're all right. Okay, let's let's grab a little bit of wood, shall we? I'm not really sure how bad the storms get anymore. It's been a little bit... We, we've been getting some wind storms here and there, but I'm really not sure what the rain does besides possibly water the crops. There's irrigation and stuff that you could set up in this game for the farms, and we're going to have some of that. Right now, we just need a little bit of wood to get things going. We're going to need a little bit for the rest of our flooring, too, because I do like the way the floor is set up, even though we're probably going to get some little patterns going. Okay. With that amount of wood, we should be able to move forward here and get some stuff going. So, first order of business, let's close this up so that we don't get invaded and make a bunch of chests. Well, let's make a bunch of stone walls first, okay? And then we'll set the chest up top. So, I think what we want to do here is let's go with these right here. Regular old stone walls. They look kind of like cobblestone or whatever, but there's some more stuff that we can do to make them a little bit smoother. Um, and it's it's another bench that you can put. Uh, let's see. Is it... Taylor? No, it's not a Taylor's workbench, but we'll get it. There's a die workbench. What was it called, actually? No, not the table either. Maybe I should just look around a little bit. Decoration hut. That's the thing right there. So the decoration hut allows you to take stone foundations and turn them into something a little bit nicer. And that is a very, very large structure, if I do remember correctly. So let's see. Decoration. And I mean, I say it's very, very large. It's not huge, but it does take up a lot of room. And we're going to put that outside. It does look like something that we would set up with like a little farm or whatever. So let's do it like right here. I'm pretty sure it either takes four or six up and or even more than that. <laughs> Let's see. Well, that didn't sit down. Out of placement range. Oh, it can kind of sit inside the blocks. That's weird. That's okay, though. The, the clipping kind of gets bigger. Okay, so we have a some carpet. There was... Oh, you can make the Christmas trees, too. Weird. There was a way to make something... It might... Was it another kind of hut? Did I just make the wrong thing here? Let's see. Hut. Ah, the construction hut is what I wanted. Well, we needed something for the other side anyway, right? Let's make the construction hut. I could have sworn it was decoration hut, but construction hut will do. Okay. And we'll make that available on this side, just like we did... 
the other one. All right, perfect. Oh, that actually just went into the same slot. Okay. And let's just make it right here. Perfect. Okay, so now, look. Grass cubes. Isn't that cool? That is... You can make flash grass cubes as well. Cursed grass cubes. Let's look at stone, and you'll see that these are what I was talking about. The fine stone walls. Now, one of the things I just noticed, too, is that it doesn't actually require the walls to make it just requires regular stone let's craft like 500 of them that way we won't have to worry about them for a good little while and we're actually going to toss these we don't need them right now it's only a stack of rock and i'd rather use the smooth ones because i just think they look a lot better right all right let's access this and we're gonna grab a stack There we go. All right. We have just about a stack. Let's go in. Let's turn some light on. Let's get it a little bit brighter in here. We need to put some torches and some light up right now. But first, let me, let me split this up so that I don't burn too much. We'll light the fire. And yeah, now we got a little bit of light to work with. So for these, I think that what we want to do is just set down a bunch of them, right? Set down a bunch and start putting some chests on top of them. Let's do just one row like this. Oh, look how nice that is. It's nice and smooth. Okay, so we can make some chests now. I do want to put rocks back in this place. Because I had my pickaxe is a little bit stronger now and I've kind of been... <laughs> I've kind of been destroying some stuff. Okay, we're going to just take a row of chests here. And we'll probably dig out the back at some point too, just to make it a little bit nicer. But first, let's put our storage together, huh? Actually, storage. That's what we want. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And let's put that in this place. And then we're just going to set them like so. Two, three, four, five six perfect and that'll be a nice little wall oh uh, so actually what we should have did is hmm <laughs> i just thought about something we should have we should have put these first god dang it i just thought about that okay actually let's demolish these it's going to be easy to produce them again because it's only wooden thatch and we do get some of the materials back We need to make a decent little size storage. So first, let's fill all of this with rock. That way we can go on top of each block. Like, coming from the top. And we can have a bunch of chests. Stacked. Okay. So, what we can do here now... You, you know what? Pteranodon, you're just going to have to move a little bit, okay? Um, let's see. We'll go the next one up as well. It's a little bit hard to place at times. And one more up. Okay, cool. So now, if we were to place... Let's see. If we did... How many chests did we make earlier? Let's do let's do 12 chests. I think 12 is a really really good. Wait, we can do 8. Okay, and we're going to be short just wood. I'll tell you what. Let's go back out and get one more one more little piece of wood here. Oh, the ore detector. What the heck is that? Honestly, don't know. Analyze if place the ore you want to analyze into the analysis slot of the upper left corner. What does this do actually? Of your inventory analysis will either display a green light or red light depending on whether it's found. Oh, so it requires fuel. It looks like it finds it in the available stuff. That's new. I don't remember even using that. Okay, we got copper tools now, which means we could chop trees faster too. And we got. A little tree seed. That's cool. Okay. 
We could do four more chests here. Storage. One, two, three, four. Okay. And let's put the chests starting, I don't know, right here. Okay. So we just do... We need a... There we go. <laughs> See, and we can always decorate the back as well. Like, we can take out those walls, for instance, and put something else in there. But this is going to be a nice little storage area for us. We can even put some light back there if we want to. Now, look at that. Now, can we open these chests? Yeah, even though there's a block on top, that's fine. All right, so let's put start putting some of our goods up in here. And let's see. Actually, that's all fiber. That's fine. Let's put all of the thatch here. That's all of the thatch that I have. There's more, you know, in the other chest and stuff. But then we'll put wood. And we'll move on to, like, rocks and stuff now. Okay, so we could put dirt in this chest. And then stone. And then maybe clay and maybe ores or resources here, like copper and coal. Perfect. All right, next we'll do like animal products, which is going to be like hide, fur, and bone. And then we can do, until we have a, actually, I should have did chitin right there too, huh? Even the produced chitin we'll do right there. Then we'll do maybe some berries and stuff. Plant stuff, I guess you could say. I did have a primitive cloth hat from before too. Uh, and then we can do maybe extra resources right here. All right, and that's that's a solid plant. And then we can even do building materials in the next one. But I want to use these right now. So let's put the rest of them down and see where we're at. All right, so I got my wall done. I'm pretty happy with it, I gotta say. Yeah, I know, Squishy, it came out pretty good. I, I mean, and honestly, I would like a little bit of background in these chests or whatever, but it's okay. I think it's time to go exploring now. We've been cooked up in here for long enough. I wanted to make a spyglass too, guys, but I don't have any sand. So I guess the first place we're gonna do, what we're gonna try to do first is find a desert. I wanna put my armor on too and try it out. Let's see. We need to equip, we don't need the, um, we don't need the candle hat right now, but we do want to keep it on us. So primitive cloth boots go, pants, shirt, all of the cloth stuff goes. We make sure that we put the real sword on us because we don't need this primitive spear anymore. And um, man, I think we look kind of spiffy. Whoa! Uh. Easy, Tiger. I know. We looking good, huh? <laughs> so, all right. Let's grab the pteranodon and go see if we can find the desert maybe come back with a little bit of sand i've got a little bit of raw meat on me and i got some berries on me as well so if we need we can tame something while we're out if we see something that's decent but ultimately i'd like to be able to spot you know something from afar that we can tame okay so magic forest is out the question because we don't have any of the magic stuff what in tarnation is that though <laughs> Is, uh, it's a drop? I mean, we might as well look at it. Is there anything around us that can kill us? No. I don't think so. Let's try to get it. Oh, there's a Carno right there. Okay, we gotta lure it away from the drop. Oh, man. I want that thing. I don't know what's in it, but I want it. Okay. Okay. We might be able to sneak and get it. He's coming. He's coming! Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on over here. Come on over here, big stupid. Oh, he's fighting something. Good. That's our opportunity. He's fighting an ankle. Alright. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Grab it all. Oh, a blueprint. A blueprint. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, no, no, let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Woo. 
All right, what did we get, actually? It's a wooden, oh, a Western wooden fence blueprint. Good, those things look great for little farms and stuff. <gasps> what do you know, we got some glass without having to get some sand. Hold up, is that enough? Is that actually enough to do the spyglass? Well, that would save us some trouble, huh? That sure would save us some trouble. Let's see, glass, um, oh wait, tool, copper, spyglass. Oh, we need one more glass. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, <laughs> well, we almost had enough. That sucks, dude. <laughs> well, I know. It'll be fine. All right. Well, we can always get another one of those, or we can continue to scope out the deserts, and I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's take a look at where we're at. We'd like to head either south or west, for the most part, I think. Or southwest will be fine. Let's see. That's all magic biome. What about this way? That's... It looks like there's some other drops here, too. So... Oh, that's a dragon. Yeah, we definitely don't want to mess with that. Definitely don't want to mess with that. Hmm... I should have marked... I should have put a flag down in the house, but I'm not going to go too far without checking first. We have plenty of stamina. That's good. Looks like a way to get to the winter biome over there, maybe. That's some more of the dark forest. Okay. It doesn't look like I have a whole lot around me, y'all. There's a lot of bad stuff around here, though. Thank goodness. Oh, those are gargoyles. Those are amazing. Amazing creatures. That can actually catch me if they wanted to <laughs> they're super fast too all right this is all like magic forest the biome's a lot bigger than i remember what is that over there oh is that all gems wow well we know where to get gems Holy, oh, we're gonna need some of those eventually let's just take a little rest here these pegasus don't want none they're not violent they do hit back, though, I believe. All right. We'll just stay out of that thing's way. Let's make another little turn here and see if we can find anything exceptional. All right. Just about everything that was to my west and north was magic forest and dark forest. But we did find the winter biome. Now, outside of being able to get some ice here... It says, entering a dangerous area. Is this considered a dangerous area? It's been a long time since I messed around with any of this stuff. So, I don't really know. We were looking at difficulty level 6 for some of the bad things. Oh, it looks like the, the mooses fight back. <gasps> Look at over there, guys. Look at that over there. We've got a Giganto, level 22. That's an ice elemental, level 12. There is a... Oh, I thought there was a polar bear, but I guess not. D was it that... Was the reindeer that strong? That's a level 88. It's a passive tame. I wonder... What level we would have to be to tame it. There's a wolf right there. Okay, they're fighting something else here. Okay, you gotta be at least level 40 to tame that. Okay, these wolves, though. Oh, there's little penguins, too. All right, I'm pretty sure that the bears are not passive. I don't see it, though. Let's take a look at a wolf. Okay, level 8, tameable. Level 68, tameable. That's a little bit better. I wonder if we could possibly single one of them out and maybe... Maybe convince it. What about the Giganto? Is it a passive tame? Probably. Yeah, you gotta be level 30 or higher, though. Pretty much the same as that. Ooh, that's a Quetzal. That's not a passive tame, but look how big they are compared to my little Pteranodon. Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet. Okay, a single wolf would be actually pretty cool, to tell you the truth. You know? They don't take saddles. That's the only bad thing about it. But we would definitely be able to get some XP with them. And maybe even travel a little bit. Okay, so there's two wolves down there. There's another bear. 
Man, a bear would be sweet too. But how, how strong? Oh, I didn't mean to dump that. I didn't mean to dump it. Okay, the bear is level 18. That is not big enough. That thing over there, though, is bad news. This elemental spirit frozen? Well, the bear is considered a level 6 difficulty. These are level 7 difficulty. I'm pretty sure we need magic arrows to knock those down, too. Um, the, the, the snowman, uh, the, the golem, I mean. There is another bear down there, though. <laughs> a freaking dragon in the distance as well. Let's stay away from that elemental. I'm pretty sure this kind of reaper is dangerous. That's not like the regular reapers. And that dragon above us. Where are you going? You can't come around here, man. Just keep on flying, okay? Just keep on flying. We don't want to have nothing to do with you. Okay, it's starting to storm a little bit. I gotta be careful. Okay, that bear is 42. Is 75 arrows even enough for something like that? I wonder. It doesn't say what the torpidity of something like this would be. It's recommended that we get steel bone armor suits and standard sniper rifle. Uh-oh. What's fighting us? Oh, that's the Reaper. Okay, get away from it. Get away. <laughs> They're not friendly like the other little Reapers, okay? They are not. How... Where are we at here? Uh, yeah, we, we outran them. We outran them. Uh, another thing that I just noticed. We are freezing. Oh, because it's the storm, huh? Hmm. Yeah, we're taking damage here. I think we just have to go. Well, we've probably looked around quite a bit, but man, man, man. Yeah, I know. Look at that. That is iron, Squishy. <laughs> yeah, of course we're getting some, buddy. Of course. All right. God dang. It's so much. It is so much. So there's quite a bit of ice biome around us as well as dark forest and golden realm i haven't found any doom lands yet but magic forest dark forest and uh the frozen biome is what we found so let's get down here and grab some of this snow and iron we're not ready to make iron tools yet but this much of it man we need to just grab a little bit that way when we do get in the well, I guess in the right position to make some iron stuff, we'll have plenty of it. Wow. To think about how much copper we got, we had less than... I think we had a stack. Wow. And we crafted everything that we wanted to craft with it. <laughs> Which is pretty good. Iron is a little bit more precious, so we'll probably need a little bit more of it. But to tell you the truth, two stacks should be plenty. And we just got access to the magic workbench, magic sleepy arrows, and the inscription book. So we could really start getting into taming now. If we wanted to tame magic stuff, we could. It's relatively easy to get uh, the magic sleepy arrows as well. If I'm not mistaken, all you really need is some of the components from the magic biome, which we live right near. And what is that bear doing over there bear frozen at level 96 i wonder man hmm <laughs> you know i think it's too much of a risk we found some iron i believe that we need to get what we gotta get and go home next time we come back we're gonna tame something spectacular and i think squish and i are just gonna mine a little bit more of this uh this iron you know all right yeah. now We've got our fill of iron, a little bit over two stacks. Can we move? Heck yeah, we can move. All right, which is the best way home? Directly northwest. That's the way we're gonna head. I am, I'm pretty darn confident about getting home from this point, guys. I hope y'all really, really enjoyed the episode. Squishy and I had a lot of fun, ain't that right, Squishy? <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.